Revelation 347. From the 27th of March 1938. But the greatest miracle is love. But the greatest miracle is love, and its power goes far beyond the limits of human thinking. What you lack, the all encompassing love of God will always turn to you. The Word of God is witness to this, which is revealed to you from the heights of light, for your comfort and edification in a living reorganization. For the Lord does all this out of exceedingly great love for the children, to whom he wants to offer an eternal kingdom in heavenly bliss, and yet mankind pays so little attention to the proofs of his love. The human will to live is so strong that he only thinks of the hour of death with discomfort and where again bodily need or worry weighs heavily, the man longs for the hour of death in the quiet hope of being able to escape all suffering. To have life terminated. If divine love would not be so long suffering as to point people again and again to eternity, where would any human have any purpose in life? And who does not gladly give his life, his life would pass uselessly, if the Lord would not let him again and again receive proofs of love. But the world cannot grasp the love of heaven in all its greatness, the love of heaven. Man on earth knows well that love enlivens everything, but in his earthly state the understanding of divine love is only limited. All that he is able to recognize when he brings up their will for it, is that the children on earth are continuously looked after by the heavenly Father and that they can pray to him and are always heard when these requests are conducive to their salvation. But only if you are able to grasp the unspeakably great love that moved the Lord to sacrifice himself for mankind and its sins. In order to be able to appreciate this mighty event in all its greatness, a bright light of knowledge must already shine for the earthly child. The 27th of March 1938 he has to realize that all earth beings are to be granted heavenly glory one day and that God's wisdom over endlessly long times applies all means and ways to reveal this glory to these beings, for only what is perfect and God resembling can enter the kingdom of God, and again much patience and love is needed to show the often resisting creatures the way which can only lead the where eternal happiness awaits them. In times of need, Man often believes he has been abandoned by his heavenly Father, and yet he is then closer to him than ever. Every deep need is a sign of God's mercy and love, although you cannot or do not want to see it as that. For if you, forced by this distress of the heart, turn towards eternity, the love of the heavenly Father has not passed your heart without leaving a trace. You have heard the call of love and have followed it. And so the love of the Lord and his infinite patience has been working since eternities and will never stop drawing beings to himself by virtue of this love. In his most agonizing hour, when the Lord suffered and died on the cross for mankind, the divine love descended upon the whole universe. It embraced every being and let the divine spark arise in all souls, to give the possibility of a union with God, the eternal love to every soul, which is of good will and is reborn of love in spirit. Amen.